Do you, do you genuinely think you are the best female breaker in Australia? Well, I, I think my, my record speaks to that. Australia's best female breakdancer has responded after all the controversy, telling everyone, listen, you donkeys, I was just trying to represent my country in a unique way. But just because you donkeys do not know anything about art and you're not artistic at all, that is the reason you don't understand my style. And that is the reason why you think I'm bad. Um, I can beat all of you in breakdancing. You know how many seconds I can do headstand? Now, it's been three weeks since Miss Reagan has surprised the internet with her amazing, unique set of skills. And every time I hear the name Reagan, I swear in the back of my head, I'm like, Reagan or Thundergun? <laughs> oh, it's, it's not that funny when you say it out loud. And I also made a video on this channel two weeks ago about the whole controversy, talking about it, showing you some of my moves. <laughs> We talked about a video she posted on TikTok, kind of like replying, semi-replying to this whole thing saying, please do not bring my family into this. I'm going to be taking a break. It was all supposed to be for fun, but you guys take too seriously. You need to take a chill pill. And just uh, 21 hours ago, she went on a news channel called The Project, I believe. And they had a 60-minute interview. The guy asking some pretty good questions and Ray Gunn replying to all these controversial questions. How are you doing? Yeah, it's it's been a pretty wild ride. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, I definitely have my ups and downs, my, my good and bad days, but it has been honestly so amazing to see the positive response uh, to my performance. Like, I never thought that I would be able to, to connect with so many people in such a positive way. I want to meet those people, the positive people who gave positivity in your life besides your family members. I want to ask them what the positive thing... If I did a shitty performance in the Olympics and, you know, people, not my family members or friends, start applauding me, giving me positive for it, I'll feel like a kid who won a participation award and I'll slap all of them. I was very surprised by this, that the Australian people themselves, after, see, I would say embarrassed the country, the whole country in front of millions of people at the Olympics. They were cheering for her on the street after she returned from the Olympics and they were doing the whole kangaroo dance together i was really surprised by that i didn't know australians are this friendly maybe they're actually not maybe it was just that group of people but if you're australian watching this i want to know what actually happens in australia after Reagan popped some moves on the on the olympics how did it affect you and the country but she says here some only the positive things obviously there are also negative things and she had to go to therapy for that how dark did it get for you Fortunately, I, I got some mental health support pretty quickly and I also went off social media. I went off the internet. Now, one of the Olympics judges at the Paris 2024, I feel very sorry. The breaking and the hip hop community definitely stands behind her. She was just trying to bring something new, something original and something that represents her country. We stay with her, just her level was maybe not as high as, as other competitors. She created some original moves which could be maybe funny or entertaining for others but uh, for us, she basically represented um, uh, breaking and hip hop. She was trying to be original, bring something new to the table. Now that I 100% understand because it's not only power moves. When you say break dancing, yes, you think someone is doing helicopter dancing on, you know, with their hands and their legs in the air. It's not always like that. I have friends who do, you know, like. It's that shit too, but the way she did it. The way she had no control over it, it was just not Olympic level. It's like, you know, when you go to a mall with your friends, you put your backpacks down, you start doing this shit, film a TikTok video and go home. Not in front of millions of people at Paris 2024. So that raised up the question since day one. How was she qualified to be at Paris 2024? And this video was shared with millions of people saying that her, her husband is the person who you know, selects the people to compete in the Olympics in the breakdancing industry. And surprise, surprise, the wife got the opportunity 
to go through. Just when you thought the Raygun controversy couldn't get any more crazier, we're finding out that Raygun and her husband formed the committee just to get her to the Olympics. And remember, this lady has a PhD in breakdancing, but this is where it gets more crazier. She made her husband the judge to her qualifiers, where she just competed against a small group of her friends. But strangely, a lot of people are on her side because this restricted actually talented breakdancers from joining the competition because these dancers Dancers are typically from underprivileged communities, which is why people are even more pissed at Raygun. And after this video went viral, no one's gonna look for the debunking video. They, it's already set in their mind that yes, it is true that the whole system is, you know, rigged. And 50,000 people in Australia, they signed a petition as well to start an investigation on how she was qualified in the first place. And in this interview, this was her response to that video. The conspiracy theories were just awful. How did you qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympics? I won the Oceania Championships. As, as simple as that? Yeah, <laughs> it was a direct qualifier, yeah. And did you know anyone who was involved in making the selection or any of the judges? There were nine judges all from overseas. Um, I don't think any of them have judged anything that I'd been in before. I was, you know, super nervous about it, to be honest, because I'd, even though I'd won all these competitions in Australia, I was, was nervous about winning this one because it was all new judges. <laughs> now, I put my detective coat on and went to see if this is actually a real thing or not. Apparently, Oceana Championship Australia winner 2024. It was Rachel Raygun. And I've looked for videos if Raygun can actually dance properly or not and doesn't know only kangaroo dances and uh, 360 scissoring 180 degrees, with the, whatever the fuck that dance was. And this is what I found from one of her battles. Pretty basic stuff. Even watching her opponent, she does similar things. Maybe she does one or two moves better, but breakdancing is deeper than we all think. There's a lot of, you have to go with the beat. You have to come with originality. If you use the same moves it, again in the second round of, you know, in front of the judges, you're not going to get selected because me personally, I was a football freestyler. It's a similar judging parts are similar competitions are very similar as well i was actually a three times world champion in the middle east for the best football freestyler back in 2017 2018 and 2019 but then in 2020 corona hit and after that i decided to let someone else enjoy the victories i'm just too tired of winning all the time if i had a ball i would have showed you right now some of these I throw it in the air, do handstand backflip three times and catch it between my legs. So what she was going for, for a unique way to, you know, describe her country. She knows basic, you know, moves, but the kangaroo, all these things was just for her country. And she thought that people, it'll be funny, it'll be fun, it'll be unique, but it's, it just, it just wasn't, she just wasn't qualified. Do I think she needs to be receiving hate for that? No, she shouldn't. Like I said in the last video, should she have been qualified? Fuck no, but I guess there's no female break dancers much in, uh, you know, Australia. Maybe there are, but they don't want to step forward and be put on the spotlight. They just want to do it for themselves and not be known. A lot of talented people do not like to be in front of the camera, so they decided to go on without showing the whole world their skills. But someone like Thundergun, sorry, Raygun over here, she will come and she will puff, puff some kangaroos, <laughs> kangaroo moves in front of millions of people. And now for the famous part in the interview, a moment everyone's been waiting for, her reply to, her, to the question of do you think you're the best B-girl in Australia. Well, do, you, do you genuinely think you are the best female breaker in Australia? Well, I, I think my, my record speaks to that. You know, I was the top ranked Australian B-girl in 2020 and 2022 and 2023. I've been invited to represent at um, how many world championships, Paris, Korea, you know, so the record is, is there, but anything can happen in a battle. You know, it's always about what happens on the day. That consistency shows, you know, my level. Now this unfortunately happens in all kinds of sports. Some countries are good at one sport. Some countries are, aren't. Jamaican, Nigerians, Africans, African-Americans. They, they're very good at running and football and like 87 other sports. 
like uh spanish people are really good with uh soccer from my english friends and there are many countries who are horrible at certain jobs india they will smash anyone in cricket but when it comes to football playing like soccer or american football or basketball absolutely shit and according to the article reagan could be set to make millions from her viral fame despite scoring zero at the olympics game the sources said that the future of one of the world's most talked about australian Reagan is currently being negotiated with multiple tv offers they are looking for exclusive network deals that could be 12 to 24 months so just keep in mind if you think your videos are cringe if you think it's too embarrassing to make tiktok dances and you know go viral just keep in mind that even if you go viral for the wrong reasons you can get millions of dollars from tv deals from brand deals from all these deals because you're still bringing in the views and this is the perfect situation i do not encourage you to go for the bad reason go for the right reason but whatever you do do not start a prank channel and disturb the peace that that i think that is the only way where the views don't count at all you will be shut on from the public and you will get zero brand deals slash tv programs for you but anyways, this was the latest update with her situation. Just wanted to update you. Curious to know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for these yapping sessions. I apologize if I haven't posted in two days. As you know, I've been moving like seven times this month. And hopefully I'm locked in for this whole year. I'm going to be staying in this place. And stay tuned for daily videos about the shit that goes around the internet. And, you know, our yapping sessions together. Anyways, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.